Hello everyone, my name is Jamie McQuaid from Magnet Forensics and today I've got a quick video to show you how to do uh, Samsung bypass acquisitions uh, with Magnet Axiom. Uh, now there are a number of ways to uh, to get past passcodes uh, with various devices, including Samsung devices. Uh, this method here is uh, is specific where you may have a, a Samsung device, maybe the screen's broken, maybe uh, there's encryption on it, bootloader's locked or something like that, and you wanna get into the device still. Um, this is gonna use a method that's gonna allow you to do an MTP acquisition of the device, even if uh, even if you can't input it, even if USB debugging's not turned on or anything like that. So let's jump right into it. I've got a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 in front of me, uh, but this works on a lot of Samsung devices, not just uh, the one in front of me, it's just the one I had available. Um, but basically the, the stipulation is Samsung, or, or sorry, uh, this was actually patched in uh, Android security patch in uh, October or November, 2017, depending on the model number. Um, but so you can check the security level of the device, but anything before that, it'll work just fine. Um, and it's just another way to uh, to get past a, a device that you might not have the passcode to. Uh, a colleague of mine actually did this when they had uh, they had a, a Samsung Galaxy S7. Uh, the screen was completely broken. Uh, instead of repairing the screen, he was able to connect uh, and use this method to to still pull uh, valuable data off of it. So let's uh, let's get started with it. Uh, I've got Axiom up here, version 1.2.4, uh, which is where we uh, we just included this new method into um, and we've got some basic case information I can just leave the defaults there I'm not too uh, concerned with that right now we'll go to evidence sources now we can go to mobile and from here um, now we do have an MTP method and I did say we we're going to use the MTP method but I'm going to go at it a different way because this is a bypass method for Samsung devices we're going to go a different way this is typically for cameras and other devices MTP devices that you might have connected and unlocked um, so for this we're going to go to Android we're going to choose acquire evidence and like I said it's locked so we're going to do lock bypass and now you get the options LG, Samsung, or other. Well, we've got a Samsung device here, and you could either do a recovery image, uh, which will get you a full physical dump, works really well. I've done a number of videos on that. Or you can do this uh, MTP image um, or, or bypass method here. So I'm going to choose this one. And now we've got some instructions. Uh, the key thing here is um, I don't have the passcode for this device. I don't know what it is. And it is booted up. It's on. So I can see it for the S3. And it has a patch version earlier than uh, the October, November um, 2017 patch level. So with that in mind, I'm going to hit start. It's going to say disconnect the device from the computer. Perfect. It's not connected here. I'm going to hit next. It's going to say now connect it just so we uh, it can uh, identify it here. So we'll connect it in. And now we'll Axiom will try to detect the uh, the device here. Okay, it uh, detected the device. Check for drivers and uh, install. Oh, those were already installed, so it just bypassed that one completely. And now it says attempting to bypass the device lock, and it says complete. Perfect. All uh, all done on that side. It's already uh, done the bypass, so that's all good. Hit next. And now we can see we've got the device here uh, fired up. It's uh, it's ready to go. Um, the device is right up there front. Hit next. And we can do a quick uh, pictures, video, and other files via MTP. So the majority over an MTP acquisition, you're typically going to get all the pictures and videos for the user, as well as some application data. I know WhatsApp stores um, backups there, and a number of other applications do store data. It's totally up to the app developers whether they choose to uh, have their stuff available via MTP, but um, you still will get a lot of good app data and documents there as well. So I'm going to hit next, and it gets queued up, ready to go, ready to be imaged. So I could keep adding stuff to this uh, case if I wanted to add other sources of evidence or anything like that. I'm not going to do that here. I've just, that's just just focus on the one phone. I'm going to leave all my processing and artifact details here uh, the same. So I'm just going to jump right down to analyze evidence. And then my uh, device here is ready to be acquired. I'm going to hit analyze evidence and it's going to begin. I've got photo DNA turned on there. So it'll cache it at first and then it'll just start kicking off and, and uh, doing the acquisition of the phone. 
there it goes. And now we can let it do its acquisition. It'll automatically begin processing it, and I'll uh, I'll be able to both uh, have a, have an acquired image on the other side as well as a processed case once it's finished. You can see it didn't have a lot on there, so it's already done, and it's actually already kicking off uh, Axiom Examine because the processing's begun. So if I flip back over here, you can see it's going to go through, do the uh, the processing. Like I said, not a lot on here, so it only took about 10 seconds to do the full search. Um, but if we flip over to Examine in here I can hit processing complete okay again not a lot of stuff on this phone I kept it small and short but you get a whole bunch of pictures documents you'll get videos you'll also get app data from various applications as well um, lots of good data here and uh, really nice way to get into those lock devices uh, or lock Samsung devices um, that you otherwise wouldn't have been able to get into due to either encryption uh, passcode, uh, either broken hardware, or uh, any other criteria that uh, might prevent you from getting into it. Um, really helpful. And uh, that's everything I wanted to show for this video. Thanks. Have a good day.